Meghan Markle's family feud calmed down after the May 2018 royal wedding, only to be reignited by a speech the Duchess of Sussex made later that year, a new documentary reveals. Meghan Markle was embroiled in a family saga in the run-up to her royal wedding, which saw her father stage paparazzi pictures, before pulling out of walking his daughter down the aisle in front of the world. The Duchess of Sussex revealed how she was heartbroken by her father's actions, which also saw her relatives give interviews about how they she had blacklisted them from the wedding. While emotions settled down after the wedding, Meghan riled up the Markles when she gave a speech during her first royal tour with Prince Harry last October. The Duke and Duchess visited Australasia in October 2018 in a royal tour that was widely hailed as a great success. During a speech in Fiji about education, Meghan said she had to support herself through university, a statement disputed by her half-sister Samantha. Royal biographer Andrew Morton told Channel 5 documentary Meghan and the Markles, Family at War, she wrote her own speeches, one of which was on education. She talked about how she got grants and worked herself in order to pay the fees to go to college. Not one mention of course of her father, who had also stumped up a considerable amount of cash to send her to university. Samantha gave Megan it with all barrels when it came not the face that her father was not mentioned in this speech. Megan's half-sister Samantha Markle told the documentary, I saw that and the first thing I though was, oh my god what did she just say? Dad paid every penny through kindergarten to university graduation. Samantha took to Twitter at the time of the Fiji speech to describe Megan as delusionally absurd. The documentary narrator Paula Bacon continued. She said any money she earned during college would have been for parties and shoes rather than tuition. Earlier in the documentary, Mr. Morton explained how Megan's University Northwestern is one of the most expensive colleges in America, if not the world. Something like $70,000 a year to go there. Editor of Majesty magazine Ingrid Seward commented, I do think Samantha Markle has got a point, but she's just so unpleasant. I don't see why she feels she's gaining ground by being so unpleasant and telling us things which possibly are true, but, we don't really need to know them. In the latest of his barbs aimed at the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan's father Thomas released scans of a personal letter from his daughter to the British press. Royal expert Angela Mollard, in podcast Royals, commented, Her father has deeply betrayed her. It's so tawdry. Ms. Mollard has also commented on Samantha Markle, saying, We know Samantha is just an attention-seeking hanger-on. She revealed, she actually changed her name to Markle after Meghan got engaged to Harry, she wasn't even using that name.